Well, it's time to buckle in, ladies and gentlemen, because today we are about to consume the red pill. Come back to reality! Yeah, so if you are lucky enough to not already be aware of what red pill TikTok is, then first of all, I want to say... I'm very jealous. But secondly, I do just want to give you a pre-warning because you are about to hear some of the worst takes you can possibly imagine. Because to me, that is exactly what this red pill genre on the internet has started to become. Like, I believe when people first started saying, I'm going to take the red pill, it was a bit of a joke and what they were actually saying was, I'm going to go against the norms and I'm going to say something that the majority of people won't really agree with. And that in itself already meant you were probably going to hear some bad takes after you heard someone say that. But I think it's actually got so bad now that you'll hear people like, like Sneeko talking about the red pill as if it's like some type of cult. And because you have people like Sneeko and Andrew Tate who have gained a very large audience talking about this red pill stuff, you now have more people trying to create content very similar to them. And one of these people is a woman called Just Pearly Things who recently blew up over the last few months basically saying you're Andrew Tate shite, right? She thinks women are basically inferior to men, she blames women for most of the problems in the world, and she comes across as a bit of a pick-me. I know Chad Chad made a very good video about this a few months ago, so if you do want to see some of the horrendous takes that Just Pearly Things has said in the past, that's a very good video to watch. But the reason why I've decided to make this video is because within the last few months, Pearl has tried to be more and more controversial, but within the last few weeks, she has said some stuff that has got so bad that she's actually dropped an apology video. The fact that people are making these videos is my own fault. Which, by the way, I thought was against the rules of the red pill cult. I thought no matter what bad you do in the world, you should never apologise. I mean, Fresh and Fit literally just had a known R-word on their podcast and laughed when he told the story about how he R-worded people. We used to run trains on white girls. Choo-choo! She's got a Robin Hood. Uh, uh, we used to do it uh, with that permission. So it's not like she came over and said, hey, I want to sleep with all you guys. Yeah. We say, hey, man, that white girl like you, get over here. And then we uh what? put, oh, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. We just come in with dicks out. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, am I the only person hearing this right? He's just admitted on a podcast to 700,000 people that he used to run trains on white women without their permission. For some reason, that's funny. Mimicking the culture. Yeah. Because not only it was a different era, it was a different time. Yeah, it was a different culture. It was a different era where that was completely acceptable. What? Yeah, so as you can see, these red pill people take pride in just saying some of the most disgusting stuff you can say and never take accountability. Hey? Sounds like a really good cult to get involved with. But yeah, let's get back to Just Pearly Things, because luckily she doesn't say anything that crazy, but she definitely has a lot of bad takes, and we'll show you the type of vibe that she tries to give off in her videos. But yeah, before we get any further, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. I'm trying to reach 400k on this channel, and if I don't reach that number, the red pill lot are going to think I'm inferior. So please, I just want to be a real man. If you're not treating your man right, if you're not sleeping with him, if you've gained a bunch of, bunch of weight, if you're not cooking for him, if you don't treat him like a king, and another girl comes in and decides to do what you're not doing, sorry, don't hate the player, hate the game. Um, you have to take some responsibility for the situation that you put yourself in. Well, that was quite possibly one of the most stupid takes I've ever heard. She basically said, if you are not having regular sex with your boyfriend and cooking for him, he should be allowed to cheat. Yeah, I mean, makes so much sense, doesn't it? It's actually mental because she is so against women, and when people go at her for having these opinions, she just goes back at them and says, Oh, it's not my fault you're a shitty wife. So a lot of the wives are triggered on this app, saying I'm young, inexperienced, don't know what I'm talking about. But I listen to what the men say every single day through consultations, through what I do for work. YouTube videos made about you guys? Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just letting you know a lot of you are shitty wives. It's like she's trying to come across as some type of love guru who's trying to give advice to the women out there and saying, look, if you want the man of your dreams, all you have to do is degrade yourself and do whatever he says. That'll do the trick. She also has more videos where she says if a woman gets pregnant when she didn't want to get pregnant, it is 99.9% .9 her fault. And we have the ability and the choice to track when you're ovulating and not have sex on those days. Um, so at the end of the day, there's like 10 choices that you made irresponsibly that got you pregnant, where the man only made one choice, condom or no condom. After that, it is on you. And when you had 10 choices and he had one, I'm sorry, 
we have more responsibility. I mean, what a great message to spread, eh? If two people have sex and the woman gets pregnant, the man's not at fault. Like, he only made one mistake, and that was not to wear a condom. The woman made so many mistakes, she must suffer. So yeah, you can understand the type of videos she makes, right? She's basically trying to take advantage of the audience that Andrew Tate and some other people have already made, and she's just pandering to these, like, teenage boys who despise the world. But this is where we get to her most recent videos, and... Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Look, Bailey, I'm gonna give you some good advice right now. If someone offers you the red pill, you say no. Okay? But yeah, she recently did a podcast with Nick Fuentes, and if you don't know who that is, that is another person who has some of the worst takes you can possibly imagine. He has said stuff like he believes that America would be a better place if it was just one race, and has also said that he's extremely against interracial relationships. And this girl starts recording me and says, So Nick, do you think that having sex with a black guy is the same as having sex with a dog? And I said, no. I said, no, it's not the same. I said, but, but, bo I said, but both to me are wrong. He's also went as far to say that he could never live with a person who was black because they would constantly argue about stuff like who's going to shower first. But what if we're living in the same house and there's a fight over, you know, who gets to shower when and who gets this seat on the couch and who, these are the kinds of things that happen in a dance. Wait, do you think you'd fight with him because population. he's black over that? I wouldn't fight about stuff like that. And well, hold, 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 I want to hear Destiny's, the answer to Destiny's well, question. Yeah, would you fight yeah. more with a black person over who gets to use the shower? Yes, over... yes. And here. And here's why. Because <laughs> so as you can see, a despicable human being. I believe that he's also banned or he was banned from flying as well because he said some of the most despicable things you can imagine. And if you need any more proof that he's not a great human, when Kanye West was going on his anti-Semitic rant, he decided to become best friends with Nick Fuentes. So Trump is really impressed with Nick Fuentes. And Nick Fuentes, unlike so many of the lawyers and so many people that he was left with on his 2020 campaign, he's actually a loyal. And by the way, that was only because Nick Fuentes has also said very anti-Semitic stuff, so yeah. I think that adds enough context as to how much of a horrible person he is. So Just Pearly Things had him on his podcast because of course she did, and then she went on to say that slavery was embellished. This so, sounds similar to the slavery stuff too, because that's that's literally they they the founder of or the guy who made Roots said I wanted a myth for my people to live by. So they often, but that's what they do is they embellish. And I'm not trying to say it wasn't horrible, it was right, but they want to make it like more horrible so that they can control people. Fucking hell. How did we get to this point? Like this red pill stuff seemed to start with people just saying, oh, we should work harder for what we want. And now we're saying that slavery is embellished to allow people to control things. Like, I don't even understand what her point was. But yeah, she thinks that slavery was over-exaggerated, which is fucking mental. And this is where we got Pearl's new video called Just Pearly Things Addresses the Nick Fuentes Interview. So I did know that he was known a known racist i did know he was a known sexist i did know that basically every bad name in the book from the right and the left everyone hated him okay so you knew he was a known racist a known sexist and by the way that's just a couple of the things that he's known by but you already knew he was known as a bad person so why did you have him on your podcast pearl people say that stuff about me they say i'm sexist they say i'm a misogynist and you know I really just like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, that is what you say about a YouTuber who has been in a scandal because he might have, like, promoted a bad product. Not for stuff that Nick Fuentes has said. And by the way, I don't believe for a second she just thought Nick Fuentes was misunderstood because if you literally search his name, you were struck by hundreds of videos of him saying things with his own mouth that are extremely racist, sexist, and everything under the sun, basically. So I don't think she thought Nick Fuentes was this innocent guy. I genuinely believe that she agreed with the stuff he said until she got backlash. I just more try to listen and see where they're coming from. Um, in hindsight, that wasn't smart. No shit, it wasn't smart. It was probably the dumbest thing you could do, to be honest. And by the way, all this stuff is irrelevant because she was the one who ended up saying that slavery was embellished. So, like, it doesn't even matter what you thought about Nick before the podcast. If you watch the full thing, I was more referring to the system of using atrocities to control people. That's what I was trying to say. Oh no, we heard you. You said that people over-exaggerate about slavery to try and control people, but yet again, is mental. So she has just confirmed that is what she meant, but I guess she's gonna say that she said it wrong. To say that it, it wasn't, that, that it was embellished is, oh gosh, so stupid. So stupid. Yeah, very stupid. Um, 
And I, and nor am I, you know, sure I've read a couple books, but I'm not informed or qualified enough to really have that conversation. So, oh yeah, don't worry. We all know that. No one watching this video right now is thinking, oh, Pearl's actually quite intelligent. Uh, again, stupid. Now, the next thing is that... And that's it. That is all she had to say about that part of the podcast. She then goes on to talk about some other shite she said in the podcast. But realistically, she just said, oh, it was stupid. Didn't mean it. And yeah, this is just my opinion at the end of the day. But I don't believe her. I don't believe a word she says. But yeah, I would love to know your thoughts down below on this whole situation. I'd love to know your thoughts on this whole red pill genre as a whole because it's actually got huge on the internet. Like these TikToks are getting millions of views. The YouTube videos are getting millions of views and it's mental to me. But uh, maybe you have a different opinion, I guess. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please do a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.